today we discuss section 4.3 factorization into triple digits let b be an integral domain and and x b a non zero non unit non zero non unit in d if x is uh, not an irreducible We can write x as a b uh, with some proper factors. If a and b are irreducible, then we can say that. X can be factored into irreducible. If all the x in uh, integral domain can be written as uh, a product of uh, irreducible, we can say that factorization into irreducible is possible in that integral domain. If any of these factors, these a and b, you know, these factors of a and factors of x, is not Irreducible, we can write uh, that factor as again a product of uh, proper factors. So we can continue this. Uh, if, if A is not, a, uh, not an irreducible, then A can be written as some A1, B1. Uh, if B is not a and irreducible, then we can be written as uh, b is equal to some a to b two again. Now we can continue this process. Okay, if this process terminate, we can say that uh, this uh, element x can be uh, factored into irreducible. Okay, uh, for instance, if we take uh, b. This is set for algebraic integers. So this is always a subset of T. What is set for algebraic integers? That is set for complex numbers uh, for which we can uh, find a polynomial, integral polynomial, uh, annihilating those elements. Okay, those elements are called uh, algebraic integers. Okay, if you consider this b uh, and take an element alpha, alpha belongs to b, then clearly there exists a polynomial say p of x, p of x equal to a0 plus a1x plus etc plus an x raised to n. In fact, it will, it will be a monic polynomial. Uh, so we can assume a general polynomial here. P of x equal to n of plus a1x plus x to nx plus n with p of alpha equal to 0. This is the definition of an algebraic integer. Uh, obviously, this alpha is an element of C. Then, uh, this implies uh, p of alpha equal to 0 implies a0 plus 
एवं अल्फा प्लस एक्स का ए एन आर पर एक्स टू एन इक्वल टू जीरो दैट इंप्लाइज ए नो प्लस ए वन रूट अल्फा स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स का ए एन रूट अल्फा रेस्ट टू टू एन इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इंप्लाइज वी कैन गेट अ न्यू पोलोमेल क्यू ऑफ एक्स व्हाट इज क्यू ऑफ एक्स क्यू ऑफ एक्स इज ए नो प्लस ए वन एक्स स्क्वायर plus etc a n x raised to 2 n this is again an integral polynomial integer polynomial with we know we know that we have the q of root alpha equal to 0 okay so this shows that root alpha is uh, root alpha belongs to uh, b therefore this alpha can be written as root alpha into root alpha this alpha can be factored into b so no element of b uh, can be uh, written as a product of irreducible in fact uh, there is no uh, irreducible at all in b because a, any alpha can be written as root alpha into root alpha this root alpha can again be written as root of root alpha into root of root alpha so every element can be factored so no element no element can be considered as an irreducible so if you consider this b we can say that uh, factorization into uh, irreducible uh, is not possible in b in fact if we consider a uh, ring of integers of a number theta by number theta we mean uh, q of theta over theta is an algebraic element uh, so algebraic number so that in that number field if we uh, choose a ring of integers then we can get uh, factorization into irreducible is possible so in order to study the uh, factorization in the irreducible we will uh, practically define a new concept uh, of noetherian ring uh, this uh, name came from or this adjective came from the uh, famous mathematician mathematician leading mathematician elmi noether so we will define what is a uh, noetherian ring next so that we consider a ring ring r this is known as r is a commutative ring with unity uh, and uh, if i is an ideal of r now the definition i plus is an abelian group the property that r i is contained in i with these two properties we can say that this i is an ideal of r the additive subgroup with this property now uh, if this uh, i contains some elements x1 x2 etc xn such that ideal generated by x1 x2 etc xn equal to i so that means we can uh, choose some Java vector for this i. Then we can say that this i is generated by, or this i is finitely generated. Obviously, this is uh, a sub, sub subgroup of this uh, or subring of this i. Uh, if this uh, ideal is again, uh, this is the smallest ideal containing x1, x2, etc., x, and that is obviously uh, is an. Uh, is contained in this i. So if this ideal is all of this i, capital I, we can say that this i is generated by these elements. Okay. So the, if these elements are finite, we can say that i is finitely generated. Okay. If every ideal of a ring r is uh, finitely generated, we can say that that r is a Noetherian ring. Okay. So now we define a Noetherian domain. Noetherian domain is nothing but uh, a domain in which every ideal is finitely generated. Okay? If every ideal in a domain B is finitely generated, then it is called it is called a Noetherian. Now they are in domain. So, uh, 
in order to study the uh, uh, factorization, we need to study this noise theorem, uh, property of noise theorem. Okay. So, uh, because if you have an element alpha, uh, this can be written as a, a product of proper factors and uh, continue this process, uh, you can consider ideals alpha and this is contained in uh, root alpha, ideals by root alpha, that is contained in ideals by root of root alpha, and so on. Okay. So, this is the uh, obviously this root alpha is an element of this, uh, then root alpha into root alpha, that is equal to alpha is again an element of this ideal. So, every multiple of alpha is contained in this. Again, root of root alpha, uh, this ideal contains root alpha because the product of root of root alpha in root of root alpha is root alpha itself. So, you can uh, continue this process. So, we can construct um, uh, ideals in this manner or often in chain of ideals. If uh, you can consider this type of uh, ascending chain which does not terminate. Okay? So, we will next consider uh, these two properties are, uh, we will prove that these two properties are uh, equivalent, being noetherian and uh, if this uh, domain is noetherian then this terminates, okay, otherwise not, these two conditions are equivalent. So, uh, uh, this condition, if, uh, if you consider an ascending chain of ideals in this manner, if it terminates, we can say that that ascending chain uh, Chain con uh, the ascending chain condition holds. Okay, so we will uh, we can define another pro uh, another uh, important property like uh, ascending chain condition. Ascending chain condition states that every ascending chain That is, if consider I1 contained in I2 contained in I3 contained in etc., then there will exist N such that Ln is equal to Ln plus 1 equal to after a stage, uh, all these ideas are changed. So, this, we can say that this ascending chain terminates. So, uh, so this is an ascending chain condition, and uh, this property is called being noetherian. So, these two properties are uh, equivalent. Okay. Now, we will define uh, one more property that is maximal, maximal property of ideal, maximal condition. What is maximal condition? Uh, every non empty set of ideals has a maximal element. That means if you consider uh, a set of a set of ideals, a subset of uh, set of uh, ideals uh, of an uh, domain D. Uh, then it has a maximum value. If every uh, collection, every family of ideals has a, every non empty family of ideals has a maximum element, we can say that maximal condition holds. Okay, so we will prove that these three conditions are equivalent. After all, uh, once you define uh, the property of being noetherian, we can get every ideal is uh, finitely generated. Okay, then uh, first of all, that is. Uh, equivalent to the factorization into irreducible because if uh, x can be written as a1 b1 and, and they are proper factors and uh, this a can be written as uh, some a1 b1 and this a1 can be written as a2 b2 and so on if, if factorization into irreducible is not possible means uh, we can construct this type of uh, this uh, we can find an x uh, which satisfies this condition. Okay, so from this you can write uh, ideal generated by x 
uh, is contained in ideal gender by a1 that is contained in ideal gender properly contained in ideal gender by a2 ideal gender by a3 and so on that means uh, so we can construct an ascending chain uh, like this which does not terminate so we can say that this is uh, so uh, factorization into irreducible uh, is possible means uh, if the ascending chain terminates okay otherwise if uh, factorization into irreducible is not possible means there exists uh, an ascending chain which, which does not terminate so we can uh, get an equivalency of uh, being uh, uh, Noetherian or ascending chain condition holds, uh, we can say that uh, factorization is reducible possible. So, once we prove the equality of these three conditions, uh, being Noetherian, uh, ascending chain condition holds maximal condition. If you prove the equality of these three, uh, one of these uh, conditions uh, is a characterization of uh, being the factorization into irreducible is possible. So, uh, first of all, we will prove that um, these three conditions are uh, equivalent. That is the next step. Uh, that we will prove in the next class. Thank you.